Billy, Billy, Billy. William Lane Craig is at it again, folks. Let's do this. The traditional understanding of tolerance is that while I may disagree with what you say, nevertheless, I will defend to the death your right to say it. Actually, Billy, that is the definition of free speech. Tolerance, according to the dictionary, is a fair, objective, and permissive attitude towards those whose opinions, practices, race, religion, nationality, etc. differ from one's own, and freedom from bigotry. That's what tolerance actually is. The problem is that the understanding of tolerance in our politically correct society has now changed. Today, tolerance means I dare not disagree with what you say, lest I be branded bigoted and intolerant for daring to do so. So, what if you actually are behaving like a bigot? I have every right to point that out. Freedom of speech does not mean freedom from criticism. I don't have to pretend that you're all sweetness and light just because it would make you uncomfortable when I point out that you're behaving like an ass towards other people. I won't make you shut up, but that doesn't mean that I have to shut up when I'm going to point out what you're doing. But this new understanding of tolerance is logically incoherent when you think about it. Think about it. If you tolerate a view, then the very concept of tolerance presupposes that you think the tolerated view is not true. Um, no, it's not about truth. Sometimes it's just about getting along with somebody whose opinion is not the same as yours, where there is no objective truth, because all you're doing is saying, I prefer this or that. I prefer vanilla to chocolate. I prefer Star Wars to Star Trek. I mean, come on. These are just differing views where you cannot quantify who is right and who is wrong. So no, it's not always about presupposing that one side is incorrect. It's just learning to get along with people who don't agree with you. That's what tolerance really is. Otherwise, you wouldn't tolerate it. You would agree with it. You can only tolerate a view that you regard as false. So the very concept of tolerance entails a commitment to truth. No, the very concept of tolerance entails learning to get along with other people. It entails a commitment to peace and harmony. The Christian is, to committed, to, is committed to both truth and to tolerance. Oh, really? Well, in that case, produce some evidence for God or stop believing, because that's the truth. And quit fighting against things like abortion and gay marriage, because that's tolerance. For we believe in him who said, not only I am the truth, but also love your enemies. The correct basis of tolerance is not relativism, but love. If you can't learn to live side by side with people who have different ideas than you do without interfering in their lives when they're not causing you any harm, it's not love. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dan saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. Rate this video where the cat gets a laser between the eyes.